For the Singaporeans in the crowd, the next fight is the most important. It's the turn of the home favourite. Outside, Shinwei's friends wait anxiously for him to appear. He hits, hits hard. He's got a very good defence. Shinwei has got a very, very good defence. Okay, for Danny, for a guy who's just claimed that he's never boxed before, but he's, he's, he's a natural. Danny's slightly taller, Shinwei is short. Good defence, Danny's got left jab, good left jab. We'll see how Danny penetrates Shinwei's defence. Shunwei looks remarkably relaxed as he waits backstage, but how relaxed will he be seconds from now when he steps into the ring? From the Republic of Singapore, Dynamo Lee Siet Wei! From Condoblin, Australia, Danny the Taxman Louis! Early exchanges show both fighters are quick and agile. Round one was, um, I suppose that I was a little bit faster than him when we are both in a top stamina. So I thought I did pretty well for the first round. So nothing too surprising, I thought I would get round one. The fight seems evenly matched, but Danny is so fit, Shinwei knows he'll have to up his game. Round two, and a flurry of punches, which quickly begin to take their toll. In round two, I think my stamina kind of uh, went down a little bit and Danny uh, came up stronger in round two. So I thought in round two, we were still quite evenly matched, but um, towards the end of round two, I think I got a few good ones from Danny. Both fighters begin to look tired, but it's Danny who's looking stronger. Well, round three, I mean, I just came out giving it all my all. As round three gets underway, Danny's power begins to make a difference. And Danny rocks Shinwei with a big right hand. The eight count takes up valuable seconds if Shinwei is to have any chance of a comeback. Both fighters give an excellent account of themselves, but there can only be one winner. We have a unanimous decision. The new hero of his hometown, Denny, the taxman, Lewis! Um, overall, though I did not win the fight, I thought it was a very good experience. Uh, I gave it my all in all three rounds, and I thought uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I came out standing and uh, having got a few punches in as well. I thought I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. As the evening continues, it's time for the fight many have been waiting for. Becky versus Susanna. Becky's strength, um, she's very good on her feet. She moves left to right, she's, she floats like a butterfly. And she's got a good jab. All right, the only weakness would be when she throws a jab, she, her right hand comes down. So Susanna might just sneak in that jab and she may just get hit. The seconds tick down. Becky stays focused. Susanna enters the ring, and she's looking good. I felt like I panicked a little bit. I was my sort of five minutes towards my fight. Where's my head guard? Where's my gloves? Where's my mouth guard? Where's my towel? I know I should trust my corner men to do that kind of stuff, but I, I tend to like to control things. She has trained harder and longer than just about anyone we have ever witnessed. From Cheshire in England, Becky Vindicator Binder. A hugely popular reception, but Becky knows this is her moment. This is where she finds out if all that hard training was worth it. <laughs> Becky comes out aggressively right from the start. Initially, um, I mean, 
my whole strategy was to move forward and I was hoping to kind of push her to the ropes and, and kind of overpower her. But she, I mean, she came back really, really strong, stronger than I've, I've seen her before. Despite the setback, Becky's determination is evident as she comes back with some strong combinations. But Susanna also lands some big punches of her own. The bit that was really, really disappointing for me was the referee's eight count. Um, I didn't feel any punch go on. The tendency is when you get something like that that you panic. So that definitely didn't get me off to a good start. <laughs> Becky needs to regroup and find something to counter Susanna's power. She comes out positively. But a second eight count doesn't help her cause. Both girls are looking strong and the fight is already proving to be one of the best of the evening. Round two, um, I think I did much better than round one because obviously I was expecting it a little bit more. I got quite a few decent punches on. Becky finishes the round well. But both girls know this is it. Two minutes separate one of them from victory. Round three. And Susanna may have the edge, but Becky's in no mood to back down. Round three. My coach has told me that I needed to move around a little bit more, um, to back off a bit more. But, I mean, at that point, it's so difficult to do it because all the frustrations are sort of coming forward. Let's go! Susanna again lands some big punches to the head and again Becky receives an eight count. It's the toughest bout so far, but it can only be one person's night. You just need to stand and applaud that, ladies and gentlemen. It is unanimous, Susanna G. I. Su Kutsarova! Backstage, there is total respect. Everyone knows there is no disgrace in losing when you've put up a fight like that. And it shows just how much it means to Becky. for the big guns. Bruce and Matt Hall, two big guys. I, I would call it the fight of the century because both of them are going to go in and hit. You're going to see punches, hard punches. Both of them can hit. Bruce is, is like a bull, right? He comes in, he keeps throwing his right. He won't stop. He will hit and hit and hit. Matt, intelligent boxer, he uses his head, the left-hander. So every time he moves, I've seen during training, he throws his left, it just lands. So Bruce has got to be careful of Matt's left. From Norfolk in England, Bruce Almighty Laidlaw! From Sydney, Australia, Matty, one more hole! This is Bruce's moment of truth. The chance to put last year's defeat behind him. But will Matty Hall prove to be too much? Over 200 kilos of muscle collide as the final fight gets underway. As we stepped in towards each other, all I really can remember from the first is a couple of his big haymakers coming in. From the start, Matty goes on the offensive. After feeling a couple of his punches, I was a little bit wary, I must admit. He actually seemed a lot faster than maybe he was. Uh, you know, and I seem slow, it was like a dream sort of thing, you know, where you, you can't punch as much as you want to. As round one comes to an end, it's fairly even. And in round two, both fighters raise the tempo. He caught me a couple of times in the second round. Every time I went in, 
you know, good on the fella. He, uh, he slapped me one down. So. As round two goes on, Matty really starts to pile on the pressure. It looks like he may be getting the upper hand. With two minutes left, Bruce knows this is make or break. I was trying to do exactly what Alexis was telling me, and every time he threw, I tried to throw as well, and we sort of traded punches, and I knocked him back. As the seconds tick down, Bruce gives it everything he's got. But will it be enough? I thought I'd just lost that, so was, the disappointment started to set in straight away, but I thought the cameras are on me, so keep a brave face. The judges have got their decision, and it is a majority decision. He was looking for redemption, and he got it. Bruce Almighty Laidlaw! When they said I'd won, when they said he's back for revenge, I thought, oh, that's me. Obviously, it's not him, so... But, yeah, that was good. For these 16 men and women, this journey is over. 12 weeks of training, six of the hardest minutes of their lives, in front of over a 1,000 people, an experience never to forget. Was it all worth it? Oh, I feel great, um, very satisfied, very happy that I finished the three months of training, finished the fight, but I feel totally exhausted and uh, thought it's, it's a good night, a good night ahead. Uh, I wouldn't go uh, for a white quarter again. Uh, I just did it as a challenge, so I will now jump to another challenge, which. Uh, which I guess is the wedding and making kids. <laughs> Ask me tomorrow if I want to do it again or not. Uh, I'd like to, ideally, because obviously now I've got, you know, a bit more of a mission, but we'll see, we'll see. Excellent, excellent. As, as good as I remember it last time, and it was a really good feeling last time, good group of lads last time. Really good feeling about it this time, definitely.